Gemma, a support engineer here at Papercut. In this video, we're going to explore the process of upgrading your Papercut NG or Papercut MF installation to the latest version. Before upgrading Papercut NG or Papercut MF to the latest version, I would recommend looking at our server sizing guide to make sure your system can perform adequately when supporting the newer version of Papercut MF and NG. If this is a major version upgrade, for example, going from version 14 to version 18, then before getting started, make sure you're eligible to upgrade. We've got a page listed here on our website to help with this. If you are running Papercut MF and have multifunctional devices connected to your installation, I would recommend reaching out to your Papercut reseller or authorised solution centre, as it's possible a firmware or software update will need to be required on the devices. They will also be able to assist you in planning for your upgrade and help you set up some of the great new features you will have access to in your new version. Papercut NG and Papercut MF are made up of a wide range of components from secondary servers to release stations, workstation clients to site servers. Though the application server is designed to be backwards compatible and work with the older versions of these components, we would recommend getting everything upgraded as soon as possible to gain the benefits and ensure there are no hiccups in the future. One exception to this is site servers. If you have any of these installed, these must be upgraded immediately after the application server to ensure they are always on the same version. This is due to the close relationship and sync they need to maintain. When you upgrade the application server, your site servers will operate in an offline mode until they are also upgraded. To get started in the upgrading process, I would first start by taking a backup. You might already have a file backup or snapshot of the server. However, to be on the safe side, you should take a copy of the Papercut NG or MF directory as shown here. Once you have taken the backup, it's time to schedule an appropriate downtime to perform the upgrade. We suggest doing this while there is minimal network and printing activity or out of hours. More information on estimated database upgrade times can be found here. When you have confirmed a good time to upgrade, it's time to download our latest update. This can be found by logging into your Papercut NG or MF admin console Go into the About tab and clicking Check for Updates. If you are on Papercut MF, you can also request this from your Papercut reseller or authorised solution centre. Once we have the software ready to install, it's time to stop the Papercut services. You can see here there are at least two services we need to stop. The Papercut application server service and the Papercut print provider service. You may have further services. The easiest route is to just stop anything starting with Papercut. You can now go ahead and run the installer straight over the top. There is no need to uninstall your current version before upgrading. All of your data will be retained during the upgrade. After the install has completed, please allow a few minutes before accessing the system. The system may need to perform a database upgrade and this will be performed in the background. If you try to access the application while a database upgrade is in process, a message will display reflecting this. It's important to make sure you do not shut down or restart your server or any services while the upgrade is in progress. If you have a lot of data in your Papercut NG or Papercut MF installation, then it will take a while, so please be patient. After the application server is upgraded, it's recommended to then update any other Papercut components you have installed as mentioned earlier. Sites running on Novell Linux are advised to restart their iPrint print manager. Now your upgrade is complete, it's time to perform some tests to ensure everything is working as expected and the system is back monitoring print jobs. Administrators may find our post-upgrade test plan useful. If you experience any problems with the upgrade process, do not hesitate to contact your Papercut reseller, authorised solution centre, 
or ourselves. If you do, we might ask for your log files to be zipped up. These can be found within the location of your paper cut folder, server, and then zip the logs folder. These will then need to be sent to us, so have them to hand. So that pretty much covers upgrading your paper cut installation. So get ready, download and update your installation and be prepared to enjoy the great new features we have developed.